Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, just a quick little video. I wanted to take a look at using the little SI4732 ATS Mini Pocket Receiver for CW. Look at this little guy. Isn't that cute? So this will do uh, FM, AM, single sideband. And in single sideband mode, it has a filter width that can go down to 500 hertz. So, and a, with this new firmware on it, um, a tuning step down to 100 hertz or less. So should be ideal for working with CW. And I'm gonna pair it up with my CW flea transmitter and uh, see if we can make a contact. And then we'll uh, take a look at the bandwidth in the uh, waterfall to see how, uh, how well its filter is actually working. To use the receiver for CW, we need to set a couple of things. So I've got it on 20 meters right now, and by default it's in sideband, as you can see here, upper sideband. But we're gonna wanna set our uh, step, which I think by default is one kilohertz. Probably wanna set that down to um, 0.1 kilohertz. You can go lower, 50 hertz, 25 hertz. But uh, for tuning in CW signals, uh, 100 kilohertz is probably fine. So now step is set to 100 kilohertz. And we'll want to narrow the bandwidth down as well. So I'll go to bandwidth. And with this newer firmware, you can see we've got a lot of choices here. So let's go 1.2, let's go to 1K, and we'll find a CW signal. Seven J. Okay. Well, how about that? NU7J doing POTA. So yeah, it works really well for CW with this little trans with my little transmitter. This is uh, one like my favorite receiver now for doing CW. Um, presently, I have it set to a um, 100 hertz step, a 0.5 kilohertz bandwidth USB, and I'm on 40 meters. Now, the bandwidth I wonder about. Um, I don't know how accurate that filter is. I'm going to hook this up to the computer and use the waterfall on FL Digi to uh, take a look at the audio bandwidth and we'll see how it actually looks. All right. I'm going to try to get fancy here with two cameras. The filter is presently set to one kilohertz. And if we look over at FL Digi, I can see fall off starting around 500 and around 1500. So, well, yeah, about one kilohertz. You can see the audio information is mostly concentrated here around a kilohertz. So it looks like the center frequency is one kilohertz. Let's drop the filter down. Uh, bandwidth. There it is, bandwidth. We'll take it down to 500 hertz. Okay, if we look over here at FL Digi now, we can see <clears throat> we're centering around 500 hertz and it definitely did drop off. 
So the center frequency of the filter does not stay the same. That would be confusing. That's, that's what confused me when I was trying to use it at the smaller filter. I was like, something's not right. The center frequency shifted down to 500 hertz. So it looks like when you set the bandwidth, um, we had it set to one kilohertz, it was centered around one kilohertz, and it was a kilohertz wide, and now it is, um, let's see that, Sam, one, two, three, four, five, about 600. Or if we go from where the yellow is starting here, one, two, three, four. So yeah, it's about 500 hertz. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's about 500 hertz. And it's centered just above 500 hertz. What's the, what's the next bandwidth setting here? Um, that's the lowest, is uh, 500 hertz. Let's take it up to... Uh, to 2.3 kilohertz and see what it does. <clears throat> okay, now if we look over here at FL Digi, it looks like our center is somewhere around 13, 1.3 kilohertz. And uh, yeah, it's pretty close to 2.3 kilohertz, isn't it? But again, our center point shifted. Now it's centering around 1.3 kilohertz. So when you're changing your bandwidth here, it's tracking pretty well, um, but it's shifting around. So if you're down at a 1 kilohertz bandwidth, it's going to center on 1 kilohertz. If you're down at a 500 hertz bandwidth, it's going to center around 600 hertz in the audio spectrum. So that's really interesting to note on this little receiver. Still a fine receiver for using for CW, as we saw and heard works pretty well. Well, so there you go. This little guy makes a nice little CW receiver. Uh, you could pair it up with a crystal tra uh, crystal controlled transmitter or any uh, small uh, transmitter and it'd be a nice little thing to put in your go bag. Doesn't take up much space and uh, works fairly well. So as a little CW receiver, uh, this is my new favorite one to use with the CW Flea. In fact, I think I'm going to, uh, I've got a little carrying case and I think I'm going to try to build things into that case to have a little uh, QRPP portable uh, setup. And that might be a future video. Anyway, this is a little short one, but uh, we saw that it does work pretty well. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.